A successful design relies on good planning. Tunji again from Caesar Graphics. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my weekly design review. Before we dive into today's review, I have this short um, tips I'm going to share with you guys. Now, I know so many of you have heard design instructors say contrast is key. Now, that is true. But I need you all to know that there's one principle that you need to understand that help contrast exist on every successful design project. And this principle is called unity. It's the organization of all parts into a unified whole. One of the ways to achieve this is the use of similarity. Your proximity should look similar. The space between your columns or elements should be similar. The width of your columns should be similar. Now, how you now create contrast with this is making a particular column wider than the other columns on your project. You can make the color of a particular element different from every other color on your project. You can make a particular proximity different from the other proximity on your project. Today, I'm going to be checking out what the designers did well and what they did not do well on their projects. And I'll be using the Unity principle to explain how to achieve good design with the design I received from the group members. I'm sure you're going to enjoy today's design review. So let's dive into today's review. This is our first design and the issue I have with this is the lack of um, good planning. If you are the designer and you're watching this video, I need you to write down what I'm going to share with you here so you can watch out for them on your next project. You know, I said in the beginning of this review that a successful design relies on good planning. So before diving to your PC or before getting to your um, workstation, we need to first get the elements you, have, you plan to use to achieve the project ready before you know you start um, drawing out the plan, the look of the project. Now, but there's one thing you need to watch out for. Watch out for uh, debris. Watch out for things that you notice that are not helping the project. Things that you know that are not really necessary for the project. Avoid those things. And if there's anything you know that you believe it will help pass the message well you can add it to the project all right so i'm saying this because of the look of your project here now most time when we use cloud all right when we use cloud like this without the use of a, a landscape view all right it always make you look as if the people are in the cloud all right and you know like i said in the beginning of this review that unity is very key i like mean like unity is what help uh, you know good design successful the part of unity on every design project is how you uh blend the image of your project now this cloud here does not have any connection with this because these people here are in a hall so the use of cloud here is not helping at all it would have been nice if these people are outside and they would have a landscape view of them with a uh, cloud on the project all right but the way it is here now there's no connection there's no unity on the project so watch out for that on your next project please avoid it um if you're trying to do stuff like this like you want to use people in a hall like this what i would have advised you do is, is that you create something like a you know like a separated um frame all right like this and then you now put the information here or maybe you use the entire view like the whole the full frame of this hall here on your project but you playing with the element this way is not um successful then the other thing you need to watch out for on your next project is try make your title abstract all right your title is another way you call attention to your project. See how you can play with it in such a way that it will draw attention to your project. Now, the way you play with it here, because I know you, you did play with it here, but the, your playing with it here is is dull, all right? It's, it's not helping at all. And I'm still going to go back to what I said in the beginning of this video about Unity. I don't expect to see this type of image on a project like this, all right? This is more looking more like a... Um, a vintage 
type of project in fact you use this type of element when the project is talking about um something related to vintage or you're trying to create a vintage feel on your project but in a, in a case where we're talking about um a, a, a prayer meeting a church poster it's always good to make it look uh, modern it's always good to make it look um you know uh, colorful and attractive so this is not helping at all all right so please um good planning watch out um, try work on making your layouts balance all right plan before you get to your pc on your next project so let's go straight to our next design the issue i have with this is the surprising of the audience all right the surprising of the audience you know part of how we surprise our audience with our project is uh not is is by creating what they don't see coming all right it's by creating what they don't see coming i know the uh, the title of this project is saying the church jesus died for all right i don't expect to see a church building and i'll tell you why i don't expect to see a church because we can already see the name church here so why do we have the church building if you work this way you are not going to surprise your audience and that's why if you notice most movie posters you realize that what they use to draw your attention like what they used to draw, make you want to watch the movie is the way they played with the um the feel of the poster now i'm not referring to the most of all these local movie posters here yeah, i'm talking of professional movie posters all right so and that's the same principle you're supposed to apply to your design project now when you receive the brief the when you receive the brief from the client all right the question you need to ask yourself is okay who are the target audience how am i going to use the information on this project to surprise my audience most time as creatives what we do is we try as much as possible to understand the team so if i'm asked to work on this project the title is saying the church jesus died for if i'm going to make any word bold on the project i'll use the jesus died for text as the bold text all right because whenever you are working on design projects all right the phrase that you notice that carry more weight is what should be the bold caption it should be what's going to what you're going to use to draw people's attention to the project and that's how you surprise the audience in fact put yourself always put yourself in the shoe of your readers what are those things that when you see it it draws your attention to want to look at anything and as human one of the things we always one of the things that always draw our attention to look at anything is we always we, we like when we see something we are not used to we like to see something that that is different from what we are used to so in this case here it's always good to make like for this type of project it would have been nice if you make jesus died as the bold caption not the church all right in fact most people always get tired of seeing this all right they always get tired of seeing church 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 but how you make them read the information on the project is by you know uh understanding what you can use to draw their attention to the project so if i'm going to use any illustration on this project what i'm going to use is in fact before i even use the illustration i need you guys to understand how i think whenever i'm working on design um, project all right so you say jesus died for and if you read the bible you realize that the bible made us understand that the dying of jesus christ is what brings victory to us is what uh give us access to the father easily like i mean to god easily is what gives us access to god um easily and for you to have access to god i uh, makes you a victorious person so if i'm going to use any illustration here i would rather use something that show more of a trophy all right i'll use something that shows a trophy or maybe a medal or something that shows victory in fact when people see jesus died and they see an illustration that shows victory it will draw even an unbeliever to want to read every information on the project because you expect to not feel happy when someone die most time all right when you hear someone die in fact most especially jesus because so many people know about jesus so when they hear that you put something that shows celebration on 
an actor that says Jesus died, it makes them want to read the information on the project that, okay, I want to come for this meeting because I want to know why these people are happy because Jesus, di Jesus died. All right. And that's how you're supposed to think whenever, you know, you're working on design projects. I know some other creatives will want to go and start looking for the picture of Jesus and put it on the project. Well, that may still work. All right. But the, um, the surprising part is not using the same illustration, not repeating the same illustration on your project, on your project. Now, when I say repeating the, the, the same il illustration, I'm referring to when the artwork is talking about the church and then you are now repeating church illustration on, on the project. Or maybe the artwork is talking about Jesus and then you are now repeating Jesus again on the project. So please is not, um, um, you know, it doesn't help um, design project most time that way. And then the other thing I think this designer also need to work on again here is the, um, you know, this, this image here is fighting with this. All right. They almost share similar size here. I don't expect to see this picture this bold. I expect you to make it a bit smaller. And then, if, um, you know, you can now make the main illustration, you know, um, bigger. And then the other thing, again, you also need to watch out for is the space between your rows. Yeah, please. I always allow more space between your rows and um, your time here. Don't be too shy. Make it bigger because hierarchy is part of how we help our readers to, you know, assess the information on our project easily. So please uh, make this a bit bigger and then always avoid the use of all these type of icons on posters or church posters, please. Um, I'm not really a fan of it. And uh, part of why I am not a fan of it is I'm a type of designer who always try to see what I can take away from my project to make my project simple and successful. Adding this is taking away from the, you know, the, the project. It's similar to the... Um, to the illustration part that i told you that um repeating the illustration on your project is not going to help people can already see that this is dates and time here but you using this icon again is like you repeating it again so i don't think it's necessary so take it out and then the last thing i'm going to say on this is please try as much as possible to make the elements aligned all right make them aligned this will align to this always make them align and i believe with that um your um project will look successful all right so let's go straight to our next design which is this now this is um a, a good project all right this is a good project i like the way the designer played with these icons here but the issue i have with this playing with this icon here is the fact that whenever you are using icon on your project all right please there's something called uniform in fact, it's still similar to the, the unity part that I explained in the beginning of um, this video. Make your elements have this similar look whenever you are placing them on your design. I'm saying this because if you notice, the width of the stroke on these two um, icon here is similar. I expect to see the same width, I mean the same stroke on this, on this, on this on this in fact this is this one here is out why because this is not this is far different from all this so i expect to see this type of stroke this type of um, um fill or outline on this car here so instead of creating a fill object i expect to see an outline icon all right that's what i expect to see here and this can also be on the same group with this all right, it can be on the same group with this. All right, so this one is still is still okay, but this one here is not is not it at all. Is 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 the stroke is different from this. So watch out for that on your next uh, project. Then the other thing that I think this designer needs to work on on is or our next project is the use of shadow the wrong way. Most time we use shadow to create. Um to create depth all right we mostly use it to create uh, um distance okay but in a situation where you know this um project here where you know this illustration uh, this picture here the is uh is the color on it is okay i don't expect to see shadow behind this frame here because 
we mostly use the shadow like i said to create distance to create uh, separation but this white background here is enough to make this information here visible now let me show you what i'm saying if i make this now white you will notice that we will st we'll still be able to see the can you see that we can still see the picture so i don't expect to see shadow behind uh, this and then the other thing that i think this designer needs to work on again is don't be a shy designer where using scale is concerned making your title bigger all right make it bigger okay like that mm -hmm. and this good. I believe with this, at least to still be nice. But this is a good project, all right? This is a simple, beautiful project, but just that part of um, aligning your information that I think you need to work on, all right? Making them align. Those are just, that's just what I think you need to work on and avoid the use of um, a shadow when you don't need it, all right? But I like your layout here. Your layout here is beautiful. It's just that shadow part, and and um, I think that. And then also, I like the color combination. Now, color, in fact, guys, color is one powerful tool that when you um, use it correctly, it gives life to the project. And that's what this designer did here with the use of color. The use of color here is beautiful. The color combination on this project is superb. It's superb, and that's why this design this is um, still looking uh, successful but avoid the use of um, shadow when you don't need it all right and also don't be a shy designer where playing with scale is concerned all right so i'm going to stop here on this and let's go straight to our next design now this is a photo manipulation project but before i critique this design i need you all to know that whenever you are creating a photo manipulation your photo manipulation as a designer must tell a story our version of photo manipulation is different from photographers photo manipulation so before getting to your pc write down what you want to achieve what is the goal why do you uh, want people to uh, look at the project what is the message so here I noticed that is I noticed that is missing on this project, and I like the fact that you know the designer sent the elements you know he used to achieve the project. So here I like the color uh, I like the um, color on the project, but what I notice here is the design is not really telling any message at all. It would have been nice if we don't even have just this character here that I think is not necessary. Why? Because if you look at it. This is more like suicide here. Look, this is more. This is this is not different from someone trying to commit suicide because you know what happens when you are close to a cheater. Cheater is not a man uh, um, friend. If you're close to it, you know what's going to happen to you. So I don't expect to see this man, this character here. Excuse me. I don't expect to see this character here. All right. If I look at the way the cheater is even looking at him, like, are you joking with me? All right. So please avoid this. So I can take this out. Let's just take this out. All right, let's take the young man out. And yeah, so this is similar to saying, okay, the uh, you can take the car to anywhere. All right, you can take it to a wildlife um, world. And then another thing you need to watch out for whenever you're creating photo manipulation is depth. Depth is very important where, you know, creating photo manipulation is concerned. I noticed that the color used on this rock here is different from here. So part of how you can create that depth or distance is to fade this out a bit. All right. Watch what's going to happen after applying this now. Now you see that? So the reason why this is successful is because we added the um white fill all right the white brush to the layer now this is not different from the cloud it's not different from applying cloud to it 
Okay, so whenever you're creating photo manipulation, see your frame as a window into a three-dimensional world where things that are closer to you are bigger and the things that are far from you look smaller. All right, now this is not the only way to create depth with this. Another good way is to uh, add what I call depth of field, which is, you know, blurring the rock a bit making it different from making the sharpness the visibility of the rock different from the one that is close to the eye which is this all right so um yeah i'm going to stop here on this i'm sure you enjoyed today's design review if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when i post my tutorials Another good advantage of you subscribing is I have a series I just started, which is Watch Me Design Live. I would advise you hit the subscribe button so you get notified whenever I'm live. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.